gentlemen, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today, I will be treating the number three practical, which is the practical of electricity. So stay tuned as you listen to my channel. Please, if you have not liked my page, make sure you like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also comment. Okay? So, based on what why I presented us, what the school should provide, we, we, we are going to determine the current flowing in a circuit and determining that the apparatus that my head gave us for this day is number one a jockey of course you know what a jockey is a jockey is used to make contact with along the road potentiometer and what you know what a potentiometer is a potentiometer is just a length of a wire being attached to a meter rule okay which has two points which is the positive terminal and the negative word terminal this is what we call the potential meter. So we are going to, we are provided also with two drive cells, each of EMA 1.5 volts connected in series. Of course, you know this is the connection made in what series. 1.5, 1.5 volts, giving us what? 3 volts. Okay? Then we also have the ammeter. Our ammeter should be rated between 0 to 2 amperes. Okay, of course, this my ammeter here is rated 0 to 3. Of course, it can take the readings okay, as long as it's between 0 to or 2 or 0 to 3. Okay, we also have a potentiometer which I showed you. We have a key and a switch. Okay, I know what the function of the key and the switch is used for in physics practical. It's used to um, as, as a, a source of on and off visual circuits. Okay, then we have a standard resistor. Well, I say we should provide a standard resistor of 2 ohms. So this is the standard resistor we are going to uh, use for this practical. Then, we also have connecting wire. Of course, we have connecting wire used to connect the whole circuit and before taking our readings. So, what we are using is 1996 practicals, okay, that we are, we are told to use. Okay, that's what I picked from that contains was the question we are about to do. Then, if you watch from this diagram, okay, the whole circuit is connected in series. Series connection means that there is no prior connection in here. All the wires are connected in series. From here to here, from P to C is my potential meter. Then from here is my the battery, okay, which I'm using, which is a three volt supply battery. Okay, and this R is my resistance, which is a standard resistor of 2 ohms. And of course, I have my current, which is the ammeter, is connected in series also. Then I also have my key connected in series. Then at the end of my key, a jockey is what connected. We know what a jockey means. A jockey is used to make contact with the word potential meter. Okay, so we are going to just rush and take the other practicals right now. Okay? Then set up the circuit, of course I've set it up before yeah before we before I wrote this I've already set up the, up the apparatus. So I have a potential a potential metal which is PC, this is it, PC, okay? Then the red side of my potential meter is the positive side of my potential meter. Okay? And if you watch that the positive end of the battery is connected to the positive side of the potential meter, like this. So, this is my connecting wires connected to the positive terminal. Of course, we know the top part is the positive terminal, while the down part is the negative word terminal. Okay? Then this is my um, cell. Then from the negative terminal, is connected to the, to the standard resistor. If you watch, this is the negative terminal connected to my standard resistor. Of course, you know the resistor does not have a positive or negative, you can connect it anywhere since it's a resistor. Then also from the other side of the resistor, okay, it's connected directly to the ammeter. Okay, so look at it, it's connected directly. So of course, since here is negative, okay, of course it will flow through the negative and enter to the uh, negative terminal of the ammeter. So where I'm going to plug it, okay, your connecting wire is to the negative side of the ammeter. Okay, then the positive side of the ammeter is connected to the key. Of course, you can see it. Positive side of the ammeter connected to the key. The key does not have a positive or negative end. You can connect it anywhere. Okay, so last but not the least, the, the, the other end of the the other end of the key, okay, is connected to the jockey. 
okay, to connect it to the jockey. So what we are using the jockey to do is to make contact within the potential meta. Okay, so this is our connection, it's already been connected. So the next thing we are going to do is to um, take the set, set of the apparatus okay, and use the jockey to make contact such that PB is equal to 10 cm. The length of PB to be was 10 cm. Okay, so when I use this, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make contact with the, the potentiometer. So at 10 cm, once I make a contact of 10 cm, I'm going to see a deflection on the ammeter. And we all know that we all know that our resistance is directly proportional to length. So as the resistance is as the length is increasing, resistance is also what? Increasing. So what's the relationship between resistance and current? V is equal to IR. So my I is equal to V over R. So when the current, okay, when the resistance is increasing, my current is reducing. And that's what we are going to do here. Because when we are making contact, as the length of the the wire is increasing, the, res the current is what reducing. So that's what we are going to see. Then the first thing we are going to do is to make a contact at 10 centimeters. So this is my jockey. Okay, I'm making a contact at 10 centimeters with my battery. Of course, look at it. Then we are going to watch and see the deflection on my ammeter. Okay, at 10 centimeters. Okay, so let's watch. Okay, so. 